Now that you've finished the first drawing, it's time to do the second drawing. The second drawing we're going to follow is an orthographic drawing with the front, top, side, and isometric view. Here's how you open another document. You're going to go to the plus tab. Create Part Studio. And this is going to open another drawing for you. Before we start, let's rename it. On shape practice two. Let's begin. As we left off last time, we got to start a sketch. And we're going to put the sketch on the front view. I look straight on at it, so I look at the front view. And the drawing that we're going to create looks like this. Most of the work is going to be done in the front view. If we look at it, this is the shape that we're going to draw. It's got a dimension of three across the bottom, and it is two in height. So let's get started. For this, I'm going to utilize the line command. I'm going to start at this point. I'm going to draw a line to there. And I'm going to draw a line up. Now, what I want to do before I go any further is dimension those two lines. So as you can see, line is still connected. I right click, escape line. Now I have no commands in place. You go to dimension, click on the bottom line. As you remember, this was three. The height of this is two. Let's finish the rest of this. So I'm going to go to line, go back to this point, go up a little bit. over and connect. Now, I don't have the correct dimensions of these two lines in right now. I'm going to look at my drawing. This line should be one. This line should be 1.5. Go back to dimension. I'm going to make this one. Make this 1.5. I have all the lines dimensioned now. Now I'm going to extrude this shape. This shape now will be extruded two inches. So we've drawn this profile. Now we're going to give it a depth of two inches. Close my sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. And I like to look at it in an isometric view so I know that it's working correctly. I click on the profile I sketched. Now, it looks a little shorter than it did. That's because I did not make the depth two inches like I'm supposed to. I'm going to click Finish. And there is my shape. Now, it's missing a hole on the front of it. So what I'm going to want to do is put another sketch. And I click the front of the object. I'm going to look at the front of it. For this, I have a circle or a hole cut out of it. That hole has a diameter of one inch. Go back to my drawing. I'm going to click circle. I draw a circle. I'm going to dimension it to be one inch. Now, I'm almost done, but I don't know the correct location of this located on this shape. I need to know how far is it from the center to the bottom of that line. So I look at my example. It's one inch. And then from the center to the left side, it's 1.5. So let's change those. So this would be one inch. And then dimension from here to here, 1.5 inches. Now I want to cut this out. It's very similar to extrusion. I close my sketch, click on extrude, isometric, click the profile. This time I'm going to click remove two inches and it is complete. Good job. Have fun.